one uh, your network of uh, friends and society enlarges for example i sit out of this building there are 600 people who work in this building do i know most of them i may not know also or uh, do they know their interest me not and i may not know also but today with uh, uh, an application like that i may know if somebody is interested in trekking and i am interested in trekking so i may go and connect with them so it allows me to expand my network of uh, people second is it also allows me to share network of ideas i have an idea i i post it and somebody picks up that idea and they tells me something else and the idea evolves at this course along and somebody says your idea is valid somebody says somebody says agree somebody says you disagree it it, it generates a lot of uh, exchange of knowledge directly or indirectly and third is it allows people to collaborate collaborate on causes which requires a multitude of people to be present for example if i want to do a social work or something like that i can post it and expect people to come and join my group to do you know work in a slum or you know work with an orphanage or so and so forth so i i believe that this is not a simple medium today of uh, you know communication it is it is a medium to do lot of things which the society yearned to do it and didn't know how to do it so in the past if i have to exchange knowledge i may go to rotary club or something like that. today i need not go anywhere sitting in my desk i can interact with the best in the world like for example to give an example i follow tom peters on twitter i mean can i read every my time of his mind no i cannot even if i pay it i don't think he's going to stand and give me his knowledge every minute but in twitter at least he does 70 80 postings a day so i get free of cost the knowledge of a, a management guru so similarly i follow obama in his thinking and process so the power is very immense I mean, it was proved when uh, president of an america won the election using this as a medium and displaced uh, money rising methodology of corporate funding to an individual funding which is a huge huge transformation in social media he believed that you know he could make americans contribute to his election and not companies contribute nobody ever thought of it everyone went to corporate to get the money so the power of this medium is phenomenal and i believe that it will make a lot of changes to the society over a period of time there are cases where governments were asked to change their policies because of social media so i believe you know even come countries which doesn't follow democracy feel threatened by social media that's the power of that thing yeah there is a very very interesting story you know i i passed out of xlr in 1982 i over a period of 25 years i literally lost touch with most of them except one or two uh, because their mobile number changed their address changed their city changed and i didn't know how to connect with them so i i originally started a, a network called xl82 in a social media today i have literally discovered uh, 30 out of my 40 classmates so today we are all connected i know their families and we even met after 25 years in one place and exchange ideas and now i've gone step ahead and went to even my college which was more primitive is 1980 so today uh, you know i have connected with the uh, majority of my schoolmates also so last trip to my usa i went and met a guy whom i have not seen for 30 years and spent a day with him and it was so enriching so it's a medium that can make you know discover people places and so on so forth so i have a lot of such stories of you know while traveling befriending somebody because of social media i play bridge in uh, social media so i have friends across the globe you know some own a restaurant i go and have a free breakfast with them some own a ranch where i go and stay for a day so the power of this medium is phenomenal i don't think i would have rediscovered my friends i would have rediscovered a lot of things across the globe there is a famous story of a guy who tried to live across the globe free of cost for 80 days that's the power of this medium some i have enjoyed it not all of them but to me personally connecting with my college and schoolmates was the greatest experience see if if you take a company like hcl technologies we have 70000 people you know, how do i even communicate with them or how do i make them get interested in something or how do i know what they are interested in in traditional hr we used to say do an employee satisfaction survey 
which is to me is like uh, you know checking your health once in a year or something you may not know anything and it, the mood varies depending on the point of time you do the checking it's like asking how are you some day you'll say good some day you'll say not so good but i think this is an instant way of you know understanding a pulse of an organization which is one of the key kra of an hr professional what is happening inside the company what is of interest to employees what makes employee happy what makes an employee unhappy a policy i have rolled out is it to satisfaction of employee or to dissatisfaction of employee or is something that has rolled out some year back has lost its relevance so it allows me to sense an organization on a continuous basis so one of the major thing we are doing in excel technology is you know rolling out our own social media internally uh, to communicate and encourage team behavior one of the another problem of hr professional is to create more and more team working you know teams working together collaborating with 70000 people in you know literally 100 plus countries how do you collaborate so this medium will i believe will allow people to collaborate across continent across time zones across you know barriers and it will make more people feel comfortable with each other i interacting with a british employee i interacting with an american employee we all have only one thing in common that is social media there is no other common is food is not common with me is dress is not common with me so there are a lot of uncommonality the only commonality we have is that we both use a medium medium we find it easier to communicate and collaborate so i i see i won't be surprised that you know the, the 80% of the future hr will be conducted through social media not through personal communication I think it'll rewrite the rules of HR that it's known or taught in the book how to conduct HR how to plan HR how to roll out interventions and how to roll out training programs how to roll out uh, people processes I think somebody has to rediscover a new rules the game has started and uh, we are discovering it so I don't have the new rules yet but I can see the traces of a new rules emerging like you know gravity changed the way the world looked at the world or newton's law changed the way the people looked at physics or mechanics or so on so forth i believe social media will change the rule of hr to me that's very very critical